Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today I would like to talk a little bit about backpacking food. But not backpacking food for us, but backpacking food for dogs. Obviously they have to eat on trail as well. My experience in the last few years has been that it's really a struggle to find a decent backpacking food. At least here in the Netherlands. I know there are several brands in, for example, America with freeze-dried food and everything. But because hiking community and especially long distance hiking isn't a very big thing here in the Netherlands. So it was very hard to find some, but um, I think after a few years I've been able to manage it. And today I would like to show it to you. Um, what you often see on trails is that dogs carry a backpack with their own food. Um, that makes maybe that you can have a bit of play time with uh, in regards to the weight. But um, obviously Ravi is a small dog, that means that he is not able to carry his own food. Um, therefore I have to carry it and therefore it was also very important for me that it was lightweight. Because of course I wear my own backpack with all the weight in it and I also have to carry all Ravi's stuff including the food. So um, lightweight was uh, very important to me, I think the most important and of course that um, Ravi loved his food because um, Ravi sometimes struggles with eating so um, yeah it took a while but um, I will show you what we found. For his main food that he gets in the evening I turned out to come to this German brand it's called Pamico and um, that is raw, raw meat and uh, vegetables and it's being freeze dried so it is a very very lightweight. Ravi is usually being fed raw but of course I cannot take that with me on the trail. So um, yeah this is a very good opinion of course this is a big package. The company has been so kind to fill it up to 50 gram packages for me because 50 grams is um, a daily portion for Ravi when he eats it in the evening. The, with this food, uh, you put it in a bowl and um, you put water on it, can be cold or can be lukewarm water and you let it soak for about 15 to 20 minutes and uh, yeah, you've got a meal that really um, Ravi really loves. This um, contains chicken and lamb and different kind of vegetables, hope you can see it. For in the morning, when he is willing to eat, he is getting um, some kind of sticks. These are sticks I dehydrated myself. Um, it is made of those, I think you've got them pretty everywhere in the world, those kind of burgers, from uh, dog burgers from raw meat. I put them on the dehydrator and um, yeah, I've got different tastes of it. And Ravi gets to eat some of those in the morning. When we are on the trail, of course, we are taking a lunch break. And when we are having a lunch break, um, Ravi also gets something to snack on and usually it's one of those kind of bars. I've got them in chicken, lamb and beef, and beef. And they are by the brand Edgar and Cooper and they are called busy day bars and they are packed with 35% of protein. So it gives him a little bit of energy on the trail and um, yeah, I always find that when he has one of those after lunch, he always is a little bit more speedier, has a little bit more energy. Um, of course, when weight isn't an issue for you, um, you can take kibble. Kibble is a food that is heavy by itself. Um, this is the kibble that I usually eat in the morning at home. So I asked um, if I could have some little samples to take with me on the trail. And one of these bags is a um, three portions per day. So when he only eats them in the morning. Of course, um, when you're doing car camping or stuff like that, uh, you can also take larger amounts of kibble. You can also use um, canned food if weight doesn't matter. But of course, when you're hiking, that's obviously not, um, yeah, not an option. When we are out on the trail, um, I always carry a little um, treat bag on my hip, uh, hip belt or um, just on the loop of my uh, belt for my trousers. And I always carry some little snacks in it. For example, these Ravi really likes those by the brand of Riverwood. Also got some chicken cubes and some trainers, lamb and rabbit. Um, in my opinion, training does not stop on the trail. So therefore, I always would like to take snacks with me that I can give him when something goes really well on the trail, treat him during the hike and uh, also as a little bit of motivation. Here I also choose for snacks that are very, very lightweight. And you've also got these kind of snacks. These are also 100% freeze dried. For example, here you've got beef liver 
and here I've got lamb lung. So that's a very lightweight and um, very small to pack. Of course, I do not take the whole package, although it is plastic, so it does not weigh much. This whole jar weighs 50 grams, so not much at all. And this one weighs 40 grams, so it's even 10 grams lighter. When we are at the end of the trail, um, Ravi always gets a treat. He knows that, he loves it, and that is one of those bee sticks. Um, you obviously saw them on all of my videos, that at the end of every hike, Ravi gets one. He knows that, fine for me, these weigh only 12 grams each, so not much either. You've got also as an alternative, these kind of strips by the brand of Premier. They are single package, so yeah, I know it is a little bit more plastic, but if I repack everything to uh, Ziploc bags, I have the same problem. These are not heavy either, uh, they weigh 10 grams each, so yeah, th these are all very lightweight snacks and very easy to take on the trail. In my opinion, uh, it's also very important, like I said, uh, in my opinion, training does not stop on the trail, to have some really jackpots for your dog, and for Ravi, that's everything that includes cheese or chicken. So, I've got some of those. These are um, pre-cooked and vacuum sealed uh, chicken fillets. Not heavy at all either. These are four pieces, 40 grams, also nothing in weight. And those from the same brand as his beef sticks, but these are little slices and they have pieces of cheese in it. So, um, yeah, a big hit by Ravi. When we are at camp, um, I sometimes think when the evenings are a bit longer, it's good to have your dog something to snack on. And then you might think, well, snacks are way too heavy to take. Well, most of them are, but I have been able to find a few that aren't. And for example, those are uh, rabbit ears. Not heavy at all. A whole package weighs 100 grams. And um, if you would like to give your dog a snack each evening, this will last a whole week. Same on those fish strips, they are uh, dried salmon, pure salmon, and one of those packages comes in at 70 grams, so um, also lasts a whole week. And this, for example, is horse lung, and um, yeah, lung is a very lightweight treat, you also saw it in the little jars, they have the little cubes of lamb lung. This is something that Ravi can chew on, and um, this whole package weighs 150 grams. Um, of course, I'm not taking the whole package. Um, as you can see, the pieces are very, very big, especially for a small dog like Ravi. So um, it's easy to break up and therefore take two or something of those. And he has something nice to chew in the evening in the tent. Um, and of course, food has also to be uh, given into something. And I used to be uh, taking these kind of bowls. I think everybody knows that, this kind of pop-up bowls. Got one for his food. And I had one for water. This one is way lighter than the purple one, but they also, um, they are pretty, a little bit in weight. And uh, this year I discovered at the website treadlightgear.co.uk, I discovered those balls. They are specially made for dogs. They are by uh, but the Dynema stuff, so really lightweight. This thing weighs only five grams each. So yeah, that's nothing. I have one for food, I have one for water. Ravi can use it during the trail or uh, when we are at camp. I can also put one with the tent. Do not forget to take it inside because if it gets empty, it will blow away. And for Ravi's water, he has his own Nalgene bottle. Um, we can each carry one and that means that we have two liters of water in total, one for each of us. And um, yeah, well, we are hiking in the Netherlands, so no wilderness or something for us. Civilization is just around the corner everywhere you walk and uh, we are able to fill up our water plenty of times during a hike and then therefore I also don't have to take extra liters of water water filters and stuff like that um, that's a luxury we have although I would love to have some more wilderness here as well well this was a quick overview with some ideas that you can give your hiking dog when you go out backpacking I hope you've got some ideas about it and uh, in case you would like to know anything more please let me know and I would say we'll catch you on the next trail.